Her own affair is going to be perfect international trade minister because she can sell, she can market our corruption. <laughs> Rowan Fairhead was head of risk in the United States, HSBC North America. And at the time that the Mexican drug cartel money laundering was going on, at the time they were laundering money for terrorists, connections with Al-Qaeda through Saudi Arabia, and this forex, and virtually all the things that are catching up with HSBC now, she was in charge in America at the time. Of, well, she was in charge of risk and audit. She was the head of the BBC as well, over the last three years. We've got Baroness Fairhead left the BBC, she's gone into the Lords and she's a Trade Minister. The timing was extraordinary. A, before the Tory conference. B, on the day that Nick Robinson sort of wrote an article in The Guardian about the, the effect that independent media like you people have on, on the mainstream media. And then C, the day before, it was announced that HSBC had been fined $175 million in the States for Forex fiddle. It's just, it's just extraordinary. And, and it's un completely undemocratic. There's nothing new about corruption, it's as old as politics. But I've never known it to be so, so blatant. And then we have to talk about her husband. Tom Fairhead, um, he was a councillor at the Royal Borough of Kensington and Chelsea. And he was one of the founders of the Royal Borough of Kensington and Chelsea tenant management organisation, who were responsible for the refurbishment of Grenfell. <laughs>